The researchers are essentially saying, why build complex machines when evolution has already done the hard work for us? And this is pragmatism at its finest. From an anthropological perspective, the technology highlights our distinctive human ability to manipulate and enhance other organisms. Only humans can turn cockroaches, creatures most of us find repulsive, into a valuable tool. But notice the moral tension here. We're basically enslaving living creatures and turning them into cyborgs without their consent, if they could give consent. Is this fundamentally different from how we've used animals throughout history? I'd say there's something uniquely unsettling about installing electronic devices directly into their nervous system. It's one thing to ride a horse, it's another to rewire its brain. And we have to think that these experiments aren't gonna end with cockroaches. We're gonna start looking at neural implants into higher and higher, more and more complicated animals until it gets to your brain. Now, ethically speaking, the framework seems purely utilitarian. The researchers aren't asking if we should create cyborg insects. 